being a first generation college student, I was exposed to so many really brilliant people, uh, both fellow students, as well as obviously the superb faculty members and staff members that we have here at Virginia Tech. And I just feel like seeing that excellence and it was inspiring and made me want to aspire to that. I mean, I already talked about how I have a career in higher education that was inspired by a lot of people, but you don't have to have a career in higher education <laughs> to be inspired. And or the inspiration from a faculty member doesn't mean you have to go and work, you know, and try to try to become that faculty member. Um, I just know that, you know, seeing people at the top of their game, seeing people who, who were known in their disciplines or in their fields, or even staff members who were just known on campus, you know, is if you need something done, you need to talk to so-and-so in this office. Here's our number. You know, I have him or her on speed dial, uh, you know, just lots of impressive folks. And I uh, currently serve as the director of recruitment for the College of Natural Resources and Environment at Virginia Tech. Um, but I also serve as an officer in the Ex Lapide Alumni Society for LGBTQ alumni. And uh, I'm also an officer in the LGBTQ faculty staff caucus. I'm a first generation college student. And so I was navigating a lot of things on my own the first time. Uh, I went through, well, not the first time I went through, <laughs> the only time I went through college. Um, but I wasn't really alone. I, you know, there wasn't anyone in my family helping me, but there were a lot of people on campus helping me. And it really opened my eyes to a career in higher education. I have a, a lot of mentors to thank for that. Uh, so I'm just really proud of the fact that, you know, I've turned, really, I feel like I've turned my life tra trajectory around um, by working in higher education. And, and now I can pay that back to students.